Number 11, Bacillus. Are you watching this video on your laptop or phone right now? If so, there's a good chance that Bacillus is flooding your screen. This brazen bacteria loves to multiply on lots of different common surfaces. So beware the next time you're tempted to reach into the Doritos bag after posting on Facebook. The good news is most strains of Bacillus aren't all that harmful to humans, but some nastier extractions have been known to cause horrific combinations like anthrax. While it's unlikely you'll keel over and die from a double dose of eating at your computer and bacillus, it's still worthwhile to clean off your keyboards from time to time. Laptops are catch-alls for other types of bacteria, and your keyboard could be festering with strange cocktails of various microbes. Take five minutes and wipe down the keys, you savage. If this pick made you want to run into the bathroom and wash your hands, wait until you get a load of our number 10 pick. It might just make you change your mind. Number 10, Pseudomonas. Do you know who loves nestling deep into your loofah or shower poof? Tons of different types of bacteria. Bacteria flock to your bathroom like bees to honey for one simple reason. It's warm and damp in there. Loofahs and shower poofs are the perfect place for bacteria to camp out because they are full of tiny pores that are the ideal hiding spot for bacteria like Pseudomonas and plenty of others. Change your shower poof and loofah regularly to avoid having them bogged down with bacteria. If you use an old-fashioned washcloth, clean that too. Pseudomonas can be found pretty much everywhere and even shows up on your skin and hair from time to time. Most people don't even get sick from it, although it can cause a nasty rash. If you think slathering bacteria on your skin is bizarre, check out our number nine pick. Number nine, Lactobacillus. Another strain of the bacillus bacteria, Lactobacillus, is actually found in one of the most unlikely places ever, our food. If you've ever eaten sourdough bread, you've totally snacked on some tasty Lactobacillus. In fact, this bacteria is precisely what makes sourdough bread taste so sour, and some would say so damn delicious. Basically, the Lactobacillus starts chowing down on all the sugar in your bread flour, churning out carbon dioxide like champs, and turning that sweet, sweet flour into the sour goodness that you have come to know and love. There are plenty of Lactobacillus bacterium crawling all over your unbaked sourdough, because there's nothing these microscopic critters love more than a big ol' feast. Lactobacillus can't hurt you, no matter how much bread you eat. The only side effect you'll reasonably get is a proud bread belly. You wouldn't want to swallow our number eight pick, though. Number eight, Citrobacter freundi. If you wear makeup, listen up. Your eyeshadow, pencils, and mascaras are swarming with bacteria and fungus. The naked eye can't see those crawly microbes festering all over your eyeshadow, but trust us, they are there. Get some of that bacteria into your eyes, and you are in for a world of hurt. Contaminated products can cause all sorts of skin irritations and pink eye. The culprit? Citrobacter freundi, a less than glam little microbe that loves to lie in wait inside of your makeup bag. Get this bacteria in your eyes and you will undoubtedly notice. Ingest it and you might have an even worse problem on your hands, ranging from allergic reactions to blood diseases. If you didn't have a reason to wash those filthy ass brushes, you do now. Number seven, Streptococcus. Yes, this is the beastly bacteria that causes strep throat, along with any other number of different icky sicknesses. And guess what? You can find it lurking just about everywhere. Streptococcus grows like a weed, infesting every nook and cranny of your home. From cell phones to microwaves to your own pillow, Streptococcus is everywhere. What can you do to combat this microscopic terrorist? Keep your belongings and your home clean. Cleaning regularly will wipe away some of the Streptococcus from your surfaces. Other than that, you just need to pray to whatever god or gods you might believe in that this bacteria doesn't worm its way into your system. Strep throat is a painful illness that usually only gets knocked out by a potent cocktail of antibiotics. If you ignore strep throat, it can get into your kidneys and cause massive amounts of damage. We all have Streptococcus as our uninvited guest, but at least the symptoms are easy enough to treat. 
We can't say that for our number six pick. Number six, Shigella. Beware of your kitchen sink, because there could be more hiding there than just some dirty dishes. Shigella is the bacteria that causes shigellosis, a horrible blend of diarrhea, stomach cramps, and fever that lasts for a full week without subsiding. You will know if you have shigellosis because you'll be running to the toilet every five minutes. Speaking of which, the reason your sink attracts such noxious bacteria is that it's filthier than your toilet. If that little tidbit of info made your stomach do a flip, you're not alone. It's really disquieting to think the place where we prepare our meals is dirtier than the bathroom throne, but the truth is stranger and more disgusting than fiction. What makes your sink such a gross place? It's full of a smorgasbord of goodies for bacteria of all shapes and sizes, including Shigella. Kitchen sinks are moist and crammed with tiny food particles galore. Want to banish Shigella from your kitchen forever? Good luck with that. What you can do is clean your sink with bleach to kill off any surface bacteria, but we all know it will just come back eventually. Number five, Giardia. Fancy a refreshing dip in the pool? You better think again. Giardia is one of the most dangerous bacteria around, and it's coming to a swimming pool near you, if it's not there already. Why is there Giardia in your pristine swimming pool? The answer is a little grosser than you think. Giardia is a nasty little byproduct of diarrhea particles. Just because you don't see a random turd floating by during your afternoon swim, doesn't mean that Giardia isn't lurking beneath those baby blue waves. Fecal matter can be microscopic, and even the cleanest pools can have some swirling around. Even using chlorine isn't enough to get rid of all of the Giardia. Although it will scour away most of it, Chlorine is only so effective at properly expelling all of the demons from your pool. The best and only defense is a good offense. Treat any swimming pool like it is a Giardia infested waterway and don't swallow the water. Always shower after swimming and don't hop into the water if you have even the slightest stomach bug. Number four, Staphylococcus. This bad bacteria is known by the disease it causes, MRSA. MRSA is an antibiotic-resistant super staph infection that is every bit as scary as it sounds. Untreated MRSA can be deadly, and this disease spreads easily from human to human. It also lies in wait on our money. That's right, cold hard cash and bills are the ultimate vehicle for Staphylococcus to get onto your skin and for MRSA to get inside you. Like many other unpleasant types of bacteria, Staphylococcus can be found where there is fecal matter, and there's plenty of crap on our currency. A whopping 1 in 12 bills has at least a little bit of poop on it. So if you weren't washing your hands before listening to this list, we're willing to bet that that fact will have you scrubbing them down now. A good rule of thumb is this. Whenever you touch money, sanitize or wash your hands. Even if the bill you're handling isn't an MRSA-causing Staphylococcus bomb waiting to explode, it's just good hygiene. If you thought an antibiotic-resistant staph infection was bad, wait until you get a peek at our number three pick. Number three, Clostridium botulinum. Strands of this bacteria can live in boiling water, making it one of the toughest little microbes on the planet, and unfortunately, also one of the deadliest. Meet Clostridium botulinum, the lovely little bacteria that causes botulism. Although boiling water will take care of many types of bacteria, Clostridium botulinum is a special case, and botulism is nothing to toy with. This severe disease can even cause nerve paralysis by unleashing a horrid toxin into your body. Since Clostridium botulinum can be anywhere, it's challenging to track down and eradicate this bold bacteria. If you get botulism, you need to seek medical attention immediately. Left untreated, botulism can lead to paralysis or even death. What could be worse than Clostridium botulinum? How about a bacteria that is insanely prevalent and deadly? Number two, Salmonella. You've probably known at least one person who has succumbed to the terrible fate of a Salmonella infection. And that's because it's so easy to get sick. Salmonella is just about everywhere you can find food, including on your dinner plate itself. Where does it come from? Raw meat, specifically chicken. 
chicken is a versatile breeding ground for salmonella, transferring this nasty bacteria straight from the bird itself to your mouth. If you think that salmonella is the only bad bacteria lingering around your brunch, think again. Restaurants are full of plenty of putrid pests, and many of them come from the hygiene of the workers and patrons. Fecal-borne bacteria are spread all over restaurants like wildfire. Symptoms of salmonella can range from the mildly annoying to severe. Still, you can expect a whole hell of a lot of projectile vomiting and bathroom issues as your body tries its best to expel the bacteria out either end. Those suffering from severe salmonella can get dehydrated and occasionally become disoriented. Serious cases need to go to the hospital. So what can you do? At home, remember to wipe down all of your surfaces with bleach after cutting up meat. And use a different cutting board for meat and vegetables. Dining out? Choose your restaurant with care and know that you're rolling the dice. Number 1. E. coli What else could it be but the biggest, baddest bacteria of them all? E. coli is notorious for wreaking havoc in the human world, and there are very good reasons why. This dangerous microbe can cause horrendous intestinal and digestive issues, ripping through its victim's insides like a Mack truck. What's worse is that it's virtually everywhere in public restrooms, so be wary of where you pee you might be stepping right into a dangerous E. coli trap. E. coli is certainly located in the toilet, but one of the most common and most innocent-seeming areas where you can pick up this gross bacteria is on the door handle. You know that you are washing your hands, but what about everyone else? Do you really want to take that risk? Reduce your chances of coming in contact with gut-destroying E. coli by washing your hands thoroughly and using a paper towel to open the door. This simple move could save your ass, literally. Thanks for watching. Would you rather sleep in a bed infested with all the wrong types of bacteria, or jump off the Empire State Building with a parachute you had to make by yourself? Let us know in the comments section below.